All right, guys, the Traxxas Sledge came out the 31st a few days ago, and I got a chance to get it out, do a couple of runs with it, but I wanted to show you in this, I'm picking it up from my hobby store, and I'm changing the battery tray. I'm going to post a separate video. I'll post the link in there, but the battery tray doesn't hold a lot of other batteries, so I modified it to fit you know, the Z-Packs that I run. It's really simple. Like I said, I'll post a video on it, but there's going to be a quick run in this. My daughter actually takes it out and she does the bashing in this video. I just do a couple of speed runs to show the response of the Traxxas TQI controller or transmitter, I guess. And I'm going to post another video of me putting the Dumbo RC transmitter in it and running then. And I want to see if there's a visual difference in throttle and everything right there, just changing it out. But here's the new Traxxas Sledge, came out March 31st, 2022. In my video, I said 2020. I just wanted to correct that. But no, the Traxxas Sledge came out March 31st, 2022. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Like, share, and subscribe. The place is pretty great. These guys are good to me. The owner found out I did landscaping and stuff, so he came out and wants me to spruce up the parking lot and stuff here since they do races they have a, a little race arena in here and so i was going to take a look at it but it's pouring rain but, hey, you guys can see that we're at least here small addictions i see the sledge in there already but i figured i'd let you guys know maybe i can get this thing opened up take video you know let me know don't forget to like and subscribe if you have any questions or anything you want me to review or just pick up maybe and you know do some jumping and see how it breaks the way i do it let me know all right guys there it is new Traxxas sledge came out today that's uh i sold out of the blue ones like i said before but that red don't look too bad let's see here yeah, all the regular shit in the Astra. That's a plastic tool. You can run four or six S on it. Let's see this controller too. Where is it in there? All right, so I did my quick unboxing. Anyway, so problem is with this having this fixed door there's not even options like on the Traxxas Max where there's like a clip-on piece for different batteries but they want you to put even here on this silly little sticker <laughs> either way you put my batteries in there I run these z-packs or I've got a bunch of them I got a couple other ones too but for all practical purposes that's what we're using 6,000 the 6,000s fit pretty good with their stupid little spacer. Anyway, this is the problem. When you close this trap down, right there, crushes the battery terminals. Look at that gap. So for me to shut it, I'd have to put a ton of force down on them terminals to get it to clip shut. That's silly. So, what we do is, is either way, this way or this way, obviously, you're going to fit in here this way with no harm. And even at the worst, I just have to grind that out a little bit so my terminals aren't getting damaged. You know, these are just 6,000s, but still, like, I have 7 and I think 8,200s too, which kind of push the weight limit, but I got these still even to try to fit good and then just i gotta modify this so we're gonna pop this out and i'm gonna do a video of how i like to strap some of mine in like even all my armas and stuff like that my three s's i've changed a lot of stuff but we're gonna pop some of these screws out we're gonna lift it up try to get some velcro straps under here after i can figure out getting this off but try to quick this and or uh speed this up but down in there there's a nice gap you can kind of see the blue in there I might be able to bring a piece of Velcro up through there and over here. But we'll see. Let's try to get by these screws. 
I might do one this way, depending, but we'll see. But this is gonna be Velcro. And I'm sure you guys you try to get crafty, can figure this all out. So I'm probably not even gonna take a video of doing it. So I think right here, we're just gonna change it right over. Ready, one, two. Look at that. All right, now well, that's all done. I'll figure this wiring out in a minute, but I might secure it down and take it out for a rip. But right down in there, I can tell already right now, I might take a notch out just so my batteries have a little bit easier place to rest. There's plenty of room between the tray and here. The battery terminal can curve around without any chance of it rubbing even with some little vibration. Other than that, that's pretty decent for now. I might tinker with it, but I like that a lot better in the sledge. Do some serious bashing. I secure them in pretty good. I put some foam on there because the Velcro holds it down. The Velcro's gritty on the other side, which you can see it leaves a mark in the foam. See that? So it holds on to that battery pretty good. Get these down very tight, as tight as you can get them. All right, let's take this out for a rip, hit a couple of these jumps, and then if I have time later with the weather permitting, which is pretty nice, we got PDR's catering out in my yard. We got jumps out back, which you can't see. They're way out back. Jump over the dike back there. It's pretty nice. We're down here by the fishing bridge. Get some good food here in a little bit. If I can get some time, I might start that six foot wide jump. Not sure how high yet. I think I'm going for maybe four feet high with a nice long grade to where I can just give you a nice good launch without kicking you high in the air, but maybe a little high and get some distance out of it. And hopefully we don't blow chunks of these tires off like we see online. If we do, I got a couple of sets that didn't work out too well from dirt tracks on, or I had them on my Italian, but they might go on this because they're belted. But anyway, we'll get this out, give a rip. That's it. I like how this bracket, which I didn't see anybody yet say anything about it, this bracket that goes over the tracks of sledge motor that holds it in place, those are threaded holes. They're for an e, uh, motor fan. So that is awesome. I really like that. That is a very good idea. So I didn't realize that until I got looking closer and I could see down in there, and there's actual threads. So that's great. So get myself a fan for that sometime, probably around 40 millimeter, but I'll take a look and I'll measure it and get the right fan for it. Here we go. All right, so I decided to run the sledge real quick with the stock Traxxas controller with a TQI in it, just cause I wanna see if there's a visual difference on video for you guys of when I put the Dumbo RC in there, of how much trigger response you get just instantly a change, at least on all my other vehicles. So I'm gonna just do a quick run with just this Traxxas controller and see, it's, it's not too bad, it's pretty responsive, but I also know the difference, but let's see if you can see it.
you throw the Dumbo RC in it. Let's see how the response is done. So not too bad. Mm, that's good. All right, go ahead, kiddo. I want to see this. This is my daughter. She's running the new tracks of sledge. Nice. My almost 12 year old daughter. She just right before that nailed a perfect backflip. Smooth. And then she's been doing this crazy thing. She wants to spike it somehow in the air. She's been jumping this jump and landing over there after some crazy stuff, perfect backwards and sliding out of it. Oh, still landed it kind of, got a little tumble. Yeah, it's just the tracks of sludge, pretty much stock. Just got it a couple days ago. It came out uh, March 31st, 2020. There's some of my old jumps. My daughter was doing perfect backflips off this with her granite when we first got it. There you go. And there's, it's all stock pretty much. She's got whatever settings. I haven't done throttle settings on the controller, so she's pretty much right out of the box. You know, but she <laughs> figured it out pretty quick. Pick mine up. Small Addictions RC in Binghamton. You guys should check them out. Smalladdictionsrc.com. Nice! Alright guys, there's a new Traxxas Sludge.